Hey man, you know who it is, man. I hope you like that. Look, looking for me back again with another video for me. Subscribe on for me. Subscribe on for me. Hit the video for me. Watch it all the way through. You go on learn. That's a fat cold time. But look, man, today we're going to talk about, you know what I'm saying? Why well, cancel culture is toxic. What about my mother? I'm trying to tell y'all last. It's very, very toxic. What about my dad? But look, man, before I get into the video, you already know what to say, right? Like the video, like the video. That's a fact, you know what I'm saying? Subscribe now if you ain't subscribed, man. Turn on notification bells to get updated and upload a new video. That's a fact, you know what I'm saying? See that light, you know what I'm saying? I'm praying on sex, you know what I'm saying? A big up, we all, big up, we all. The sex is due to love, the goat, the greatest. Y'all already know the vibe. I ain't gotta say too much, you know what I'm saying? Ladies, come on now. Y'all know what's going on, man. Sex, look at me now. Hey, look at me now. Whoa, look at that. It's me gangsta but look leave a comment and comment section down below how you feel about the video and do the biggest thing out of all those bro subscribe bro join the album y'all gang and why because it's the gang way but look it's a fact get into the video when i say off the rip y'all already know what i'm about to say that's a fact look my album y'all gang was off the rip my males and my females bro cancel culture is toxic because you got to understand bro People nowadays go on the internet, right, the whole time being sick. Get their web browser head ass on. Get their Google Windows nose ass back. They go on the internet, right, the whole time. Get their Explore page head ass on. They go on the internet, right, and they want to sit there and look up everybody's life and sit there and, you know what I'm saying, bash somebody for saying something that they said 10 years ago and just down somebody and make them feel bad about themselves because they did a humanly thing, which basically means make a mistake because, bro, we all make mistakes in life, bro. But everybody nowadays want to cancel somebody. Hold on. Get they got them cancel subscription head ass back. You trying to cancel something. Get they dumb ass on not knowing, bro. We don't even know y'all lives. Y'all be trying to petition to cancel somebody. It's like, bro, at the end of the day, it's gonna be another person, and then another one, and then another one, and then another one. And it's like, bro, we're gonna keep canceling people till eventually nobody even get able to say anything. And this is what they're trying to do by limit, limiting your freedom of speech, bro. They don't want you to be able to say certain things. They don't want you, you know what I'm saying, to be able to express your ideas and uh, how you're thinking, bro. Because they don't want you to really have freedom of speech. They don't want you to have freedom, bro. This is what society this is what society wants for us, bro. But people want to sit there and be like, oh no, bro, I'm from all the rights and constitutional rights and the declaration of independence. Make it your John Hancock head ass on. You don't know about none of them laws. You don't know about none of them goddamn constitutions. But you want to cancel somebody when they literally get granted your ass the freedom of speech. But if I say, oh, these people do this wrong and this person does this wrong. Now they're going to cancel the LBR. Now LBR, you know what I'm saying? We got to ban him, shadow ban him. Don't show none of his videos no more because he's speaking too much truth, bro. And this is what people don't understand. Anybody that speaks a lot of truth, they try to cancel their ass, bro. Anybody that goes against the social norms, they want to cancel their ass because they don't want you to literally, bro, have a voice. You feel me? They don't want you to have a voice, bro. They don't want you to be on the voice. Because I have a lot of times, but they don't want you to be able to speak up for yourself and speak out against things that are wrong because this is what the government, this is what the Elites want for us, bro, to be in a whole horde. We a freaking sheep. Like, get your Mary had a little lamb head ass on. You feel me? Get your shepherd's pie head ass back. Yeah, bro, they want you to be a sheep, bro, and a little big cat of a sheep just stuck in a little barn, and that's it for the rest of your life, bro. And now, guess what? Once sheep gets out the barn, guess what happens? Oh, no, he has to get back in line. You see what I'm saying? So you got to realize this, bro. This is why cancel culture is very toxic, bro, because a lot of y'all actually be depressing your own life, and you worried about what somebody said 20 years ago. Like, who gives a goddamn, bro? You feel me? You never heard about people evolving. Evolving. Man, get your Pokemon ball head ass on. You feel me? Get your Ash Ketchum head ass back. You never heard about people evolving, bro? People evolve, bro. You gotta understand this, bro. You feel me? Somebody back then used to probably think that, you know what I'm saying? Uh, this race wasn't this or this race wasn't that. But now they got their brain, you know what I'm saying? Change differently. Now they don't think that way. They change their perspectives on the different ideologies that they had back then in the past, bro. Whole time. Because people change, bro. But a lot of y'all want to be stuck in the past. You know what I'm saying? Get your history book. Get your history book head ass on. Get your social studies nose ass back. You want to be stuck in the past all your freaking left gangster, right? And you don't want nobody to evolve. You don't want nobody to change their perspective. You want everybody to be stuck and you know I mean? stay on what they said back 20 years ago and then hold them to accountable to this day. Don't get me wrong. I understand people be saying walky stuff, but people be saying craziness. I ain't going to lie. Gangster the whole time. But it's no point of canceling anybody, bro. You can't cancel anybody, bro. If somebody's fan base or somebody's support system is that, you know what I'm saying, that crazy for that person, there's no way to cancel them, bro. All you're going to do is just limit them, limit their, you know what I mean, social media exposure for a little bit. Limit it just for a little, just a little, just a little tiny bit. Get your itsy bitsy spider head ass on, just a little itsy bit. But guess what? They're going to come right back on social media and guess what? They're going to pop out, still get money, still get more calls, still get more clothes, and still get more hoes. You feel me? And it's like you're not really stopping anything, bro. Look at Andrew Tate, bro. They try to cancel Big Bro whole time. Gangster, the top G, the top striker. You know what I'm saying? Gangster, guess what happened? Bro moved to Rumble. He's still on social media. You still see him on TikTok. You still see him on Instagram. You still see him on Snapchat. You still see him on Twitter. You still 
still see him every everywhere, bro. He everywhere, bro. Gangster. You feel me? He like oxygen money. Yo, bro, he's everywhere, bro. But you not realizing that, bro. They tried to cancel his ass, and guess what happened? He popped right back up like a jack-in-the-box whole time, bro. Just what I'm trying to tell y'all, bro. Y'all don't realize that canceling somebody, bro, is really not good, bro. They try to cancel Donald Trump. They banning people off of Twitter. They banning people off of TikTok. They banning people off of these different apps and Twitch and YouTube and all these different, you know I mean, social media platforms. But you don't realize that, bro, by them banning people for not even violating any, uh, uh, any guidelines or anything like this, bro, all that's literally doing is limiting your freedom of speech, limiting what you can say, limiting your beliefs. And this is what they want for us, bro. They want us to be one minded, bro. But I mean, in a bad way, not has us all thinking positively, you know I mean, positively, and you know what I'm saying, trying to elevate each other and knowing our differences and coming together to create, you know what I'm saying, something that is bigger than both ourselves. They want us, bro, to be saying here, but we divided against each other. Oh, he said that red is blue and blue is red. Oh, nope, don't mess with him. Oh, he's a politician. Oh, nope, he's a leftist. Like, yo, bro, at the end of the day, they keep your ass divided because they know that, bro, if you divide and conquer, that's how you're the strongest, bro. They have to divide America, bro. This is what they do every single day. This is why you have politicians. This is why you have celebrities. This is why you have uh, social classes, bro, rich and poor. You know what I'm saying? Black and white. You know what I'm saying? Left is uh, right. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? Get Democrat, Republican. Bro, it's all about literally dividing the people, bro. And this is the people who work and cancel culture don't understand because their brain is so small. Get their peanut butter jar head ass on. Get they got their puny brain having ass back. You feel me? Yeah, bro. Their brain is this small, bro. I'm talking about, bro, bacteria size, bro. Gangs the whole time, bro. Like a goddamn amoeba. Like, bro, their brain is small as hell and they don't really understand that, yo, this is all a whole point of the least to literally, you know what I'm saying, control your dumb ass to Put your ass in a whole low ass vibration because you sitting here waking up every morning not worried about your life. You worried about what somebody else said on Twitter. Not realizing that, bro, is this person what they said on Twitter affecting your life in any possible way? No. Are you going to get any more money from doing this? No. Are you, guess what you're going to get? You're going to get your time wasted, bro. And you wasting your time worried about what LBR said three years ago. Oh, LBR didn't use the right diction. He didn't use the right vernacular back six years ago. He called, he used to, he called a woman the B-word. Oh, my God. Let's stop the world. The world stops spinning on this axis. Get your stupid ass on. Get your longitude and latitude head ass back. Yeah, bro. Now the world stops spinning on this axis whole whole time. You know what I'm saying, gangster? And guess what? This show goes on, bro. So you got to understand that, my mother's and my female. So stop saying here trying to cancel everybody on social media, bro. Unless they doing some wacky craziness. I'm talking about some R. Kelly type timing. Gangster, bro. But understand, at the end of the day, bro, you got to separate the goddamn artist or the, you know what I mean, the creator from what they do. You got to appreciate the art, but separate it from what they do, bro. Whole time, bro. Because some of the people that you be believing, you know what I'm saying? Be who they act as a, as a singer or artist or rapper or whatever. That's not really them. They putting on a whole persona, bro. You feel me? That's not really them, bro. They putting on a whole jumpsuit, bro. Gangsta, I'm telling you, that's not them. But you got to really understand and sit back and realize that, yo, half of these people, bro, literally, bro, are just making music. Half of these people, bro, are literally, bro, just good at doing this or good at doing that. But they are bad people. But it's not the whole point of you in here canceling people. Y'all in here canceling the wrong people, bro. You need to cancel the goddamn people and the goddamn the the, the Senate councils and all that, bro. The whole time the judge, of course, you need to cancel these, you feel me? Cancel them, you feel me? Before you start canceling regular people trying to make it out the hood, bro. You feel me? Gangster, understand that man. The whole time, blood man. Do all these things, man. You gonna be good. You gonna be taking me needs to watch this from who? Big up, y'all, blood man. I'm saying, like the video, like the video. You know what I'm saying? Subscribe now if you ain't subscribed, man. Turn on uh, notification bell to get updated and upload a new video. That's a fact, I'm saying. Follow me on Instagram at LBRDez, LBRDZ. Follow me on other Instagram at LBRDez. You do think both from the description box and the comments down below. Under video, that's a fact, I'm saying. Um, what about to say? Damn. <laughs> follow me. I think I said it. I man, F it. Follow me on that TikTok, man. It's down here towards the fact, you know what I'm saying. Follow me on that TikTok, man. It's down here towards the fact, you know what I'm saying. Let's get all the way through. I'm messing with the fact. We join the LBR gang. Why? Because it's the gang of blood, man. I'm making a record on doing that, but until then, man, you already know what to say, right? Man, I'm gonna give me some while, but look, man, I'm out of it, bitch. Home, bro.